Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today I'm going to paint something like a, a wall and I'm going to put some bougainvillea there. Uh, yeah, some flowers and I'm going to put a little bit of backgrounds and it will be very easy everyone for the beginners. Okay, and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials in the screen. You can see the five limited colors, the brushes that we're gonna need, and all the things that we're gonna need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm gonna start now. So first, I'm gonna do a little bit sketching. So I have the row number. I know I have the number uh, three line uh, liner brush. Two, you can also I know not liner brush but flat brush. Everyone, you can also use two or one flat brush. And I have the row number. And I'm gonna put. Uh, the wall here so just be center something like that little bit of perspective and then here I'm going to put it on I'm not sure maybe I will not yeah this is very important also I have to put this one to create a better perspective there so I assume that this is a house there inside this wall maybe I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger Right, so maybe on this part here. Yeah. And then here, I'm going to put uh, bougainvillea flowers. And the light will be on the right side here. Okay. Uh, right on here, but I will try to make it like this. Maybe something like that. And then there will be some flowers here. Then some mountain also. There. I'm, uh, I'm gonna make it a uh, very misty mountain there. Okay, so yeah. So put some plants here or maybe I've been a tree here okay maybe a one tree on the on the side and the inside of the house okay so that's it we have now this uh, pattern so next we're gonna do the other painting okay I have all this brush Or maybe I'll just use this uh, first, this uh, medium size flat brush.
Nó sẽ hẹ Nó put a little bit of white This part here So we're doing first the under painting everyone So make sure you have the perspective here This is the first step which is we can fill everything with the colors so we're using the raw umber first to the background colors of the wall There you go. Okay, that's it. And then I am going to add now some colors to the sky. So I'm going to use this big brush blue and white. some white you can add also a little bit of clouds like that everyone to create some clouds but I, uh, I don't want to emphasize so much my sky just want to make it so simple like a light blue color can create a little bit of clouds something like that need to be uh, good and then I'm gonna put a little bit of red here and then blue more red and then amber and then white okay so I like this color but it looks uh, much gray yes Let's put some mountain here. this part everyone so we have now a grayish misty uh, background and then I will try to use some yellow or greenish or maybe a little bit of red 
fiction um, or, or grassland here or something like that a little bit of greenish and yellow I'll try to make it a little bit of a little bit darker or you can put like an orange also I think this paint dry faster. A little bit of greens, red. And I put a little bit of yellow. I think it's solid now, yeah. There, so I'm done with the underpainting everyone. I think it's already done and, and I am ready to add some details and some something here. And I'm going to start first on the mountain, on the mountain part. So my light is coming from the left side, or right side I mean. So I'll be using this brush, it's a medium sized flat brush. I'm gonna pick mix for something like a bluish, blue green color. Blue and the yellow and then white. It's still darker, so I'm gonna need to add white to make it brighter than the background. Let's try to put something. some white there so you can see now these details to make it look a realistic mountain there And then I'm gonna try to add now some uh, some sort of uh, uh, trees here, okay? So I have here the raw umber, the blue, and then a little bit of yellow. So yeah, 
and then white maybe more on bluish color and the red and then white so here everyone, I'm gonna try to put now some some trees here you can use the tapping technique And then I think I'm gonna try to use this again, this little bit of purple, uh, darker purple, with the umber. And also put here some, some also parts of the forest. But this time it will be uh, smaller. a little bit of white to make it brighter in this part So part I uh, add some darks here. little bit of lights also maybe some sort of fogs here you can we can add a little bit of fogs also some sort of fogs you can add uh, lighter colors like this try to add some uh, another uh, forest so purple with the umber I'm gonna put it here Just use this brush everyone, but you can use the bristle pot brush if you want to. You can use the tapping technique. Okay, 
chavales So we have now something like a, a very nice background, okay? Now let's, uh, I will try to use this bristle flat brush. I'm gonna try to put first some darks. I'll mix for a little bit of dark greens. So I'm using the bristle flat brush everyone. Let's put for some casted shadows. And then let's uh, put some greens. There is a, just a tapping technique. Okay. Here you go. I think that you can see everything. And the mix for a little bit of orange. And then here, let's put some plants, also here. Copy technique everyone. So as you can see now everyone, there's a light here. Now let's try to add some highlights on this uh, on this tree. There's a bit of orange and green. Yeah, just tapping technique here. Just stopping technique. Light greens. Okay. 
There you go. And then I will try a little bit here, Rowan. Some sorts of greens also for this part of the forest. There. So as you can see, as you can see now, uh, we have this uh, wonderful uh, colors or something like that background. Okay. I like to put one tree there in the center brown but later I will, I will think about that this is just very easy tutorial everyone and here on the back of this wall I'm gonna try to put one tree there so I'll be using this uh, brush this uh, number two nylon flat brush and then here I'll try to put Sweat. Sorry about the dogs everyone. Just another tree in the yard, everyone. Okay. And then maybe I'll try it now to to I don't know. I'll try to see. Yeah, I can still retouch this wall. So I have here. The blue, umber, the blue and the red, and then a little bit of raw umber, and then white. I will put uh, uh, the bougainvillea flower here, everyone. So, we will use now this bristle flat brush. And I'm going to mix for a darker greens. Blue, red, and the yellow. Mix some more umber.
over here. I want it to be really huge. Now let's. Uh, I'm gonna put. I'll try to put something like uh, lights here. I want it to be bright. So I have here the white, the red, and the yellow. Try something uh, dark. Umber, blue, and the red. I'll try to darken this uh, uh, everyone. Gonna mix for purple. I'm gonna use this small brush everyone, small flat brush. I'm gonna use some umber with some purple.
okay so now let's put some uh, leaves also here so I will be using this one everyone make it to create uh, different types of leaves and then I'm gonna put a little bit of red and yellow to make it look uh, different Simple and easy. So we have now some sort of trees on the top of the on this uh, wall everyone okay, so here I'm gonna make it uh, bright or brighter I'm gonna add some white something like uh, an AIDS here there the lights coming from the right side everyone try to make it a uh, bigger than here
I'm gonna make it a white everyone, much brighter. There, this is a wall there. And then let's put more here on this part on the other side. I'll do this one first before I'm gonna put some details on the on this plant here. So I'm going to create some little bit of lighter color, uh, gray, yes, something like that. I'll just glaze this one everyone. Some sort of uh, glazing something. Okay and then I'm gonna put some lines. I will be using this small brush so yeah I think I will just use this uh -huh. I just use this raw umber so here I'll put yeah maybe this one is solid so here I'll just try to Just a straight line, everyone. You do not need to make it uh, so much perfect. Okay, so here. These are hollow blocks. Yeah, we need to do it one by one, everyone. So 
sorry about that, that, that everyone. Okay, there you go. I think just uh, not so hard. Okay, there you go. So you have now something like that. On this part, we can add uh, some some sort of details, maybe some cracks. On the other side. I'll try to make it not so much light. So here I need to add uh, some perspective also. So as you can see now, clearly the perspective, everyone, it looks good. Just, uh, just do like that. You do not need to emphasize everything there. It's now a wall, and this, uh, the wall looks good. Okay. First of all, just try to uh, make it focus, everyone. Okay, I think that's focus enough. I don't know if uh, I did something wrong with the focus, but I think that's fine. Okay. Yeah, so I have now uh, this full of uh, The painting looks a little bit unique compared to my other works. So yeah, I just show a little part of the wall and it's good. It looks good. Okay. And then I will try to add some Finer details, a little bit of just shades. There. There, so we can make it a uh, much more look irregular. here 
Okay, that's that's great. It looks uh good. Yeah. Okay everyone, so I'm going to add more uh, details especially here on this part. I'd like to add some more grease, maybe. So blue on the red to make it uh, purple and then white. So yeah, I will not overdo it everyone, I'll just do something like that, and for me it looks good. And then I'm going to try to put the trunk now, uh, the trunk of the bougainvillea. Yeah, it will be on the bottom part. So yeah, here, I will put the trunk here. We're using this brush everyone, this Number two, the flat brush. I have the the umber, blue, and the red. Okay, and now let's put first the dark greens. So blue and the red with the yellow. So I am using this brush everyone. Uh, the leaves of the bougainvillea is a little bit of... Uh, they, are, they are... looks a uh, peak. Call it the are peak. here so just uh, one by one everyone using this number two nylon flat brush and it also here And then let's put some brighter green so yellow and the blue only yeah I just like to use this yellow and the blue only everyone yeah 
just a tapping technique Okay, as you can see now, it's uh, popping out. Okay, everyone. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of white and yellow. Make it much, I'm going to make it much more yellow green, everyone. I'm going to add a little bit yellow and then blue. Uh, by the way, this is not this is not yet the highlights. Oh, well, this is the light, also light part of the of the leaves, but uh, this is not yet the highlights. Just slowly and surely. So just a uh, tiny dots everyone and you can create those beautiful leaves. Okay, sorry about those noises everyone, those chainsaws on the ground, background. And also do not overdo it, make it uh, on the group. There, okay. Now let's uh, try to put a little bit of uh, bluish reflection. So 
some leaves everyone have a little bit of uh, bluish color reflection especially those doesn't hit directly with the lights you can add you can add a little bit like that actually that will add a more fine realistic effect Yeah, that's that's really really good. It's it looks good, everyone. I really like it. Like like, like how it looks there. Okay. Okay, so maybe I'm going to put first before I'm gonna put the light greens. I'm gonna put first the flowers. So this in this in brush I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna put uh, pink flowers white and then the red actually the bugin billia flowers are going there in group Sorry about the dogs, everyone. Okay, so I'm gonna put more here. flowers there everyone it will actually make it look good I'm gonna put some white and the red Here. 
Okay. There you go now. We're gonna put the lighter uh, pink. So everyone with those noises, the dogs. Just add white, everyone, to make it lighter. There. So also here. Sorry about those noises, everyone, people. Okay, sorry about those noises. And he verse everyone. Okay, so here. And then we can use uh, white. To create a much vibrant lighter colors, lighter highlights. And of course the highlights will be on the right side everyone. And then we'll now add a light blue. And then white. No, not a light blue, but a light green, everyone. Sorry. Just do it one by one. There. Much brighter, yeah. Just add white. Okay, that's it. For me, that's good. It looks good. Yeah. It's simple and it looks good. Uh, I will try to make it. Focus, everyone. Okay, I think that's focus. That's a good focus. Okay, so I'm going to proceed now. I'm going to put some um, some branches. Yeah, some highlights on the branches, everyone. I think it's also important. Yeah, it's 
so good it's uh it looks really stick for me yeah just I'll just add some some branches everyone lighter color uh, light light brown or uh, umber yellow and blue and red Okay, that's a simple thing and then that's it. Now I'm gonna proceed on this part but I think I'm gonna oh wait, I need to also to put some branch here. Sorry about this analysis, everyone. Sorry about this analysis. They're playing. Okay, there you go. So, you can see now uh, those parts there become better with the, uh, let's see, a little bit of uh, tree trunks. Okay, I'll just put uh, one pathway here on this part, and I think I will be finished. So I'll just use this raw umber, yellow, and the red, and then white. So I'm gonna put a pathway here. I'm gonna put some plastic shadow here with the raw umber. For the pathway, everyone, make it brighter. There, so we, we can see a uh, pathway here. So we have now this pathway and the next it will be I will be putting a lot of bushes here and I think I will finish because I am think 
I have to finish it because I think the people is going outside. So yellow and the red. Gracias, everyone. Okay, I'm gonna need to put some yellow and one white. Or a little bit of uh, greenish. Just tapping technique, everyone, like that. And also here. create some bushes there I'm seeing the tapping technique there okay and then you're seeing a darker greens I'm gonna try to Add some darks here, yeah. Let's try to add some darks. Okay, bro, so I will, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you see the entire view, everything. I can. Okay, so. That's it. Yeah, that's it, everyone. So I think I'm almost done, and I'll just try. To, I will just retouch, and then I think I will be finished. I will put some. A uh, little bit of rocks there when losing this uh, crystal flat brush. So we have here the raw umber with the white. So we'll just mix it together. So to create textures here. I don't want to make it plain everyone so we can uh, create textures also can blend a little bit there okay okay so yeah sorry about this nice everyone <laughs> they doesn't know that I am I am working here but thanks god that i am almost done okay so now the final touch i'm gonna try to put some light green with the white 
Okay, uh, I need to also to put some uh, plants here. Okay, so yeah. Can put uh, a lot of grasses also, different types of grasses, everyone. It's your call now. Okay, I think I am done. It's just very simple, everyone. Just to the, the background will be like something like a, just a grassland. And there's a wall there that uh, it's like a wall that uh, there's someone, ha uh, some house there inside this wall. And then on this wall, there's a big bougainvillea plant. Okay, everyone. So I want to say thank you for watching this video today. And I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors with palette because I want you to learn how to, know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.